this is probably the most complicated, the most time consuming. Anything that is on the right side will not be uploaded to Google. And then when you turn one panel, all of the connected panels turn with it. Golden Dayan, I am Street View Estate. Welcome back. In this video, I will show you the workflow of connecting the panoramas together in uh, Panoskin and uh, how to upload them into Street View. Um, so the steps are that, that I will go through are uh, signing up to Panoskin, uploading them uh, to the Panoskin platform, and then uh, connecting them together, how to make floors, uh, because the, the bookstore is on few floors, how to blur faces that you don't want to be uh, shown on street view and how to blur the tripod uploading them to Google Street View and, um, and a few troubleshooting uh, tips and tricks that uh, I've found that you know that you might run into uh, I've timed all the, the video uh, so that you can get a better idea of what takes time and what doesn't this is a quite a large tour, so uh, it took me a while. And um, so there is a timestamp uh, somewhere in the corner, either this corner or this one. It will be a real time stamp, uh, but you will see it sometimes sped up. Uh, so let's just uh, take a look at it. So the first thing obviously is to go to panoskin.com and in the upper right corner there's a sign up button it's the usual thing where you put your first name your last name and you can you know have a, a company name and a username to be different but i'm just having it the same Yeah, I'm just putting my email and uh, there's three options of photographer, agent or other. Most of you are going to choose photographer. And I am not a robot. Nope. Not yet. Panoskin will send you a confirmation email which you would have to Click. And we'll just skip those uh, intros, but the important thing is to connect your account. So you would have to now decide whether you're going to use your personal Gmail account, but I prefer to have a separate account which all my uh, Street View photos go so I have more flexibility with changing my brand or whatever and this is the time where you would choose a password I just use an auto-generated password that is uh, saved in my desktop it's harder to hack it but don't try to use that password because I've already changed it so and um, here uh, Panoskin gives you the opportunity to tell them which city you are in so if they have any business opportunities for you they could contact you maybe there is someone who needs a virtual tour provider and they will just tell you so here obviously i've already read this <coughs> joke so just uh, accept the terms right and this is what your dashboard will look like to begin with, but uh, I have already uh, an account, so let me switch to that one. There's not that many tours here because I use so many other platforms, but uh, you, we will just hit uh, create and publish a tour to Google and create a new one. 
here you would also be able to import the previous store but we'll just create a new one and create a new client this is just for you to organize your clients a little bit better but we'll just say test it doesn't really affect the tour itself just the way panel skin works and here I'm writing uh, the company listing it's a Google my business listing and hopefully you will you will be able to confirm it here that it's the right one and now we are ready to start uh, importing or let's say uh, actually here we'll just uh, first organize a little bit uh, we'll, we have three floors so I'm gonna uh, <coughs> manage them a little bit it is called first floor but in the US it's called zero which is the ground floor so I'm just gonna say it's the floor zero but I'm gonna call it level one and uh, name it here as well one so it's easier to find it and level two make it in a level and that's so level one and but name it level two it's a little bit confusing but this is what we're gonna have to work with and the basement is minus uh, sorry minus one and that's minus one and minus one okay let's now upload you could either uh, press here or I prefer to just drag and drop and this is gonna take a while unfortunately uh, you can't set them to upload all at once for the different levels uh, so I'm gonna have to watch it, but you can we'll just fast forward through this Okay, almost done. And here we have all the panoramas. It's not a super obvious, but next one you have to go up and do build tour. And the way this is set up, this is probably the most complicated, the most time consuming area. On the right side is your levels 1, 2, and minus 1. You can only have one level open at a time. And uh, I will press the green button on the first panorama. I'll try to always start from outside. Uh, up the panorama from the front of the store. And I have to, here is the map. I have to move it to the right location because the GPS is usually not wrong. I don't know what happened to the picture I took for the GPS. But it's it's not that it's not too difficult to, to correct it and so uh, I just check the map the satellite image so I can get a better idea this is the house and move it in front of it but then uh, I I rely more on the map itself let me see, is it on the edge a little bit? No, wait, I'm actually in the middle of the street. And then I want to aim to the end of the street and correct the, the orientation. I do that with this little icon there. And now I'm facing the street. And if I turn it, I face the store, which is exactly what I want. I'll just remove this icon there so it's not in the way it's usually I just need to use it in the beginning that's it so now it's not in my way now I want to start connect so it's the picture is on the left and the unconnected photos are on the right so let's start connecting them I'll just orientate myself see where I am okay uh, I could use this uh, auto-align scale here 
P being precise and F being fast, it will try to use algorithm to align the next panel correctly. So it will take a little bit longer time to process if you're precise but you might save time because you don't need to move the panel around. So it's up to you how high you want to set it or turn it off completely. Let's try to have it uh, quite high and see how it will help us. And press the plus button. So from here there are three things. First I'll just orientate the picture itself, the auto orientation did not really do a very good job at this time. Uh, so number one is to orientate the picture itself that I've just added. That looks good. And the second thing is how far away they are. Uh, usually I'm, it's three meters. And on the up here, there's a slider which uh, I can hide the picture that I'm working on. It show, shows me the picture on the back. And uh, the third thing I can adjust is the picture, uh, previous picture. So right now it looks good. Sometimes it's good, you know, you have to a little bit correct the picture in the back. Here you can see the connection. And let's just quickly go through the next one. Still three meters, aim it to the door, add it, that's it. Right, uh, let's do another one. Let's see in the back. Ah, oh, that's good. A little bit more to the right. Yep. And add it. That looks good. So, actually, now I'm at the door, but in the in the map it shows that I'm already way inside the house. So it maybe was more like two meters than rather than three meters apart. So I just can adjust it here. Let's do the one more picture. So I'm aiming at the red thing all the way in the back. See that the thing is exactly the same location. Let's move it to two meters. Seems to be more accurate. Let's try the connections. Yeah, if you look at the yellow house, it's right. Uh, I'm just aiming at the arrow, and the house is exactly correct. Yes, so if I press on F, then I turn 180 degrees, and I can do the connection, you know, walk through in the other direction. That looks good. Now well, let's do... So this is the reason why it's good to work on the tour uh, soon after you take the photos. Uh, because I remember I went to the left, um, so it just makes it more quicker to work if you remember the walkthrough, uh, how, in what uh, order the pictures were. Sometimes I like to look at the bottom of the picture to try to triangulate the position of the tripod. I think it was somewhere around here. So that looks good. Let's add the picture. Let's see. It looks okay. This, this looks good. Look, I press F. And the other way, it's not 100%, but I mean, uh, you have to. You, you can't be a perfectionist uh, when you're doing street view. It, as so, as long as it makes sense that people don't get disoriented, uh, I think it's fine.
Okay, so here I have a problem where I want to connect this photo till here and it should be over here so it's, this connection doesn't make sense. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to track it to where the connection would make sense and just make this a little bit more even and then I just hover over, uh, actually sometimes I have to, for some reason I have to hold shift, uh, let me see, yeah, yeah, when I hold down shift then the, the dotted lines come, and if I click the dotted lines then the connection appears, let me try to see how the connection works, back and forth, that's good, and forward, yeah, that's really nice. Okay, so let's go up and we'll just speed through this. Okay, we are speeding along here and I just wanted to point this out to you where uh, I've started to make a connection and uh, I uh, slided the slider all the way to the left and I was sh see that I was not happy with the orientation of the original panel. So what I can do here is just to move this to the left and this is the position that I think the uh, tripod is. So here the tripod is uh, almost where the Tintin spaceship is. Let's um, let's look at it. It's on the middle of the bookshelf. So a little bit more to the left. Yeah I think that's good. So I'm happy with that and add it. So it's better to fix it right away rather than getting into trouble later on. Okay, so this is where it gets a little bit complicated because I want to go up the stairs onto level 2. Um, so I have to move one photo over from, from the, uh, the beginning of the stairs. So I'm just hitting the eye there to make the level one visible. I want to connect this photo to this one. So I press plus and now I have to correct the GPS coordinates map to the up of the stairs and then if I hold hover over the dotted lines appear and I can make a connection. Uh, it comes up as a dotted line, blue dotted line. That's because it's a connection between levels. Um, actually I forgot to orient it so I should orient it towards down stairs. Better. Just hide the that one again, and then I'm ready to continue upstairs.
So now that uh, that's done, uh, it's a good idea to save the tour and that's done in the blue bar up there. Uh, in case anything goes wrong. Anyway, so we're almost ready to publish, but uh, actually the blurring feature uh, to blur the faces, that's done in the upload, which we forgot to do. It takes a hell of a lot of time to uh, blur in Pano Skin, so if you have a lot of things to blur, I would suggest you do it in Photoshop, which I will explain in a future tutorial. You have to blur faces, license plate number, and anything personal. So I'll just speed through this. Once you are here, you just pan through to and select the blurring tool and blur their faces. And here's another one. Maybe he doesn't want his face to be on Facebook uh, or sorry, Google. And then save it. That takes another few minutes. So as you can see, this is just taking way too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, <clears throat> preview the tour and just search for any faces in the tour because not all of the pictures have uh, people in them. So I'm just going to make a mental map of any panoramas with uh, faces because yeah, just going to be quicker. I had a little trouble here because uh, I couldn't get to the second floor because it was not open. So what I did was open it and then now I can move on and the, should be able to move on to the second floor. Yeah, there you go. There's a woman. Okay, so one, two, and probably three photos that I will have to blur of her and then one downstairs. Okay, that took some patience. So in the publishing, uh, as I said, you can choose to do a stretch blur, which you will see what looks like later, a count level nadir, or a tour level nadir, or simply none. A count level nadir are helpful if you want to uh, you put your own logo at the bottom if you're you know you want to if if your client doesn't mind that you promote your um, business uh, or sometimes you might be doing something um, uh, on your own then you can you know use your account level not here and you go into settings branding and not here and here you would upload a PNG file. Um, it has to be, I believe they say 2000 by 2000. Yeah, 2000 uh, pixels is um, recommended. Uh, and circular, you can make it transparent or you can make you know anything you want. Um, so here you would have your own logo um, usually. If you wanted to add the logo of your client, maybe um, it's a restaurant that wants to have their phone number or 
whatever or simply just the logo uh, below you can do that uh, by pressing the nadir icon up here and um, that would only change the nadir of the tour that you're working on in this example we're going to stretch it then it's set to default on 13 but we're gonna try 5% I think that should be enough and then top or bottom the top one is mostly for aerial shots where you want to remove the drone or whatever and finally to upload to Google you just press publish and it's going to take a while so we're just going to speed through it so now that that time we will just uh, take a look at Google Maps and see how we are and I have a pro tip for you that if you uh, click on the pegman the yellow guy don't drag it you just click it then you can uh, see all the panels um, I'm just gonna hover over a few of the, these um, so actually most of them are a hotel which are next door which is annoying that someone else would uh, post uh, incorrect GPS coordinates but anyway here okay I'll just go through their photos here and the uh, Nadir looks good you see how it got blurred it just stretches all the pixels from this uh, from the edge into the center so that's how the Nadir gets removed and also from outside it's gone but the arrows are not here which is not surprising because it's gonna take a few hours to appear up to 24 hours sometimes more so you know I waited weeks sometimes um, I'm just gonna find the picture of the <clears throat> the guys who I blurred Where is it oh here they are okay so yeah, the the blur from Panoskin are quite hard edges, so I'm not really a fan of that. I wish they would feather it out a little bit more, but you know, it's fine. I really wanted this video to be kind of all round Panoskin, everything you need to know. But if there are any more things that uh, you're not sure of, so then please comment and tell me. But that being said, um, I thought of a few things my, uh, by myself on my own <laughs> that uh, could uh, troubles, troubleshooting issues that you know you, you might run into. Uh, so, for example, in this one, let's say that your um, uh, uh, walkthrough went a little bit off center and uh, you know went uh, out of the building or so. You know, you just you're not happy with uh, the orientation of the constel constellation uh, itself. Then you would hit this uh, lock button. You could lock the the connections one by one but I prefer to just lock them all by uh, hitting this button and then open this tab here it shows this turn thing and then when you turn one panel all of the connected panels because they are locked together turn with it so that's handy uh, when you just wanna kind of uh, fix the orientation of the entire constellation a second thing is that you might want to resize it, the whole thing. Uh, it's a little bit difficult, so you, t you start off with this blue thing and then you hit shift 
and then it becomes green and when it's green you can resize the constella constellation so that uh, here's a nice undo button which is nice to have so again uh, first blue then shift and then uh, it becomes green I don't need to resize it so I'll just undo it and if you're unsure of what any of these do, you just hit the question mark and um, it gives you kind of an overview of uh, all the things that you can do as well as uh, how this um, level work, how to connect the different levels and uh, ho uh, hotkeys which are really handy. I use the arrows a lot and F to turn 180 degrees. The more you use the keyboard shortcuts, the better. Another tip for you is to remove some of the panels from the Google My Business listing. listing. Uh, so you do that by unchecking this, this box here. Um, actually, I can't do it in this tour because uh, it has levels and Panoskin doesn't allow me to uncheck it when it is um, when the tour has levels but 90% or 80% of the time you just have one level and then you can uncheck it uh, <coughs> in case it's maybe a bathroom or, or you know uh, a place that you want people to be able to navigate to but you don't necessarily want them to start there um, and uh, Panoskin has all these warnings on that you might not want to do this and so on and uh, results might not be guaranteed so you just read through it and uh, use it at your own discretion another thing that you might want to do is to remove a panel that you, uh, you have and you just for example this one I think it's a little bit overkill to have all these panels in this uh, walkthrough I just want to jump straight to the stairs so I want to remove this one so I just click it and I find it here it's gonna be green uh, on this list and I just hit the red box red button and then it's it's gone uh, it's moved over here and anything that is on the right side will not be uploaded to Google. Now I just need to fix the connection. Uh, I just hover over hit the, and hit the dotted lines. And I need to uh, republish the tour. The republishing will remove any panels that you've removed and it will also uh, update any uh, connections that you have and positions of the panels and add any panels that you have added. What it will not do, it will not change the nadir nor any blurring. If you want to do that you will need to uh, delete either individual uh, panels and republish them or repu you know delete the whole tour and republish it so that's it in the next video I will show you how to do the same tour in uh, go through uh, so you can compare the two tech uh, platforms and um, uh, and I might also do another one for panel 2 VR uh, we'll have to wait and see and uh, if you have any questions uh, put it in the comments and also uh, if, if I know that there's been any update to Panoskin uh, I will write it in the magic box down below so uh, make sure to check it if there's any you know anything that I've said that has changed or uh, if there's enough changes to the platform, I will uh, make an entire new video. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Ho hope to see you in the next one.